Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome to a brand new series on this channel of Hearts of Iron 4, a game that was developed and published by Paradox Interactive. We played Crusader Kings since recently, a very long campaign at that, and during the campaign one of you, one of the subscribers, I think it was Carlos Ferrara, suggested that I play Hearts of Iron. And you know what? I said yes. I haven't played Hearts of Iron since they introduced Romania with a customized tree, like the decision tree that you have. And that has been like two expansions ago. And as I went ahead and I bought uh, the expansions and I thought like, yeah, let's try it out. Let's see what has changed. And I know plenty of it has changed because I do follow the dev diary or however they call it. And... I am impressed with the work that they do. I guess definitely going in a direction where a gameplay is improved, it's more customized, it increases in complexity, but hey, if you want to delve deeper into the game you can, and I saw that you can be pretty shallow about everything as well and still do a good job. But this game is not, is not easy, so let's go with January 1st 1936 because we will need some time. And I took a look at some of the nations, you know, some of the new nations, I guess, and there were two choices, Greece and Portugal. Portugal seems really interesting, like, they have a certain path where they become, like, the fifth great power in the world, and thus you get some penalties with U the UK, US, I think the Germans and the Soviet Union, because you become so strong. But you are focusing on uniting South America under your rule and a few other colonies and you go and, and take colonies away from the British and from Germans uh, and things like that which sounded really amazing. I'm sure I'll do a campaign with them at some point. For now I thought since we go historic a lot uh, and we have been so far how about we pick Greece and try to form the Byzantine Empire? I like that idea, I hope you do too. And what we start with when it comes to Greece is an unaligned ideology at the beginning, an authoritarian regime and a centrist ruling party. Our problems are debt to the IFC, consumer goods factories 15% and stability minus 10%. We have debt to, to the United Kingdom, France and Italy and we will have to pay, these are debts uh, that we will have to pay back. Schnachtplan, consumer goods factories minus 10%, resource to market plus 30%, civilian factory construction speed plus 15%, economy loss plus 25% and trade loss cost 25 plus 25%. And then we have political instability, nothing new there. I don't know a whole lot of Gr Greek history, uh, especially like in f the First and the Second World War. This has never been my focus. You know, in school you always learn about this situation right here. I learned about Romania's uh, history in World War II as well, plus we, it's been pretty recent, so it's a bit hard to forget. But I don't know a whole lot about the Kingdom of Greece. I know they had to give away or some of uh, the Greek refugees. Uh, no, there were Greek people living in some of these territories and they were had to... they were exiled to Greece after the ending of the First World War, if I'm not mistaken. So that is going to be it, we're going to play on a normal difficulty, I don't feel confident enough to go up to veteran or elite and I wouldn't really go down either. We're going to stay with historical AI focuses, at least given that I haven't played it in quite a while. Having one element to my side, meaning the pretty good predictability of the AI, should make our gameplay a lot smoother than if we make chaos all around the world. And I'm not gonna go for Iron Man because there's no real point, plus it helps me with the recording. Let's get this started. 
By the way, today's sound improvement was brought to you by two couch pillows and a few boxes of shoes. And, like I'm trying to go very low budget in this and uh, try to figure out how to make the sound better. I, s I am checking out every once in a while some videos on YouTube when I remember and I have the time and the mood. On research we're going the same way, electronic mechanical engineer. We're going to go with basic machine tools and also with construction. Our factories, we have five consumer factories. We need definitely some military buildings and then we're gonna go back to civilian factories. Good. A free dockyard. Well, let's put down some support equipment because we will need something like that. We have 90 convoys which should be okay for now. Making cruisers is pretty expensive. Let's start making some of these convoys first. And when taking a look at the tech tree, or our decision tree, what is it? Kingdom of Greece focus tree, that's what it is. We want to get here, the Byzantine Temata. Unlocks restore the Byzantine Empire decision. I'm not sure what kind of, uh, like how do we get to being called the Byzantine Empire, but we will have to at least get to here until we see it and probably we will get some claims maybe at that point. The kingdom government, this is the other decision. At this point we can't start bringing home the exiled republic, one because we have elections and two because we need to place the king under arrest just to make sure he doesn't stay in power. Over here we have the economic decisions. We need to go devaluating the drachma because we need to start managing the debt and pay it back to, to get rid of this. Minus 10 stability and consumer goods factory at 15%. So we will start over here. After that we need to work on some of these but we'll do one thing at a time. And over here we have some military focuses. What I like about them is that if we go down on the Hellenic army, the backbone of the army, and things like that, a legacy of war, we get some 100% reduction to research for many land doctrines. Like we have here in total like four different land doctrines and one to infantry weapon, which is pretty good. Well, what next? Unassigned division. Well, let's take all of them, let's put them under a leader. What do we have here? Marcos Dracos. Promotion cost minus 25%, some infantry experience, reconnaissance and movement, attack and defense. Or, inflexible strategist, cautious with minus 50 to get wounded in combat. Promotion cost minus 50. Staunch Monarchy, Reconnaissance, and Movement. I think I like this guy better. With the infantry experience, we want it. Other than that, as a Field Martian, we'll have this guy. Just give us some bonuses. What shall we do then? I mean, our front line, I'd like it not there. We will fight Turkey at some point, so... I want to do that and we will need, maybe I need a secondary army, I think that's what we need. I will take these mountaineers right here, uh, no, not what I wanted, let's see. Let's get back to that. So you stay here, you will be here and create a new army and assign the selected divisions. Okay, well let's assign this guy with this guy, the mountaineers, maybe even this horse 
to a new division, part of the same army, and I would like them to defend these islands right here. Probably Athens should be as well in this. But let's keep just the island. And I'll put this guy in charge, why not? Okay. With you, I want you to be here. An offensive line will take it all over here. Good. Decisions. Place the king under house arrest. We'll do that. And I think that is about it for now. Let's get some the time started. From what I read around here, uh, we will need to go on this side to resurrect the Megali idea, basically the idea of a greater Greece, and we will get some of the territory, some territory from Turkey, but we will have to renegotiate with Italy, France and the United Kingdom in order for them to, to accept the idea that this is our territory and things like that. I'm not sure how this will go. We will have to see. At this point we have some war support. Like could I go for partial mobilization? I think if I wait long enough we might just be able to go for partial mobilization which would be great for us. Okay. The Venezuelans win the election, the communists and the monarchies become indifferent. And we will have a new leader. Pretty good leader at that. Good stability, good war support. Political advisor costs. Okay. The government idea. Oh, so the Republicans and the. One of the things I saw here is faction management. So basically, now all the factions that you have inside your country will if they're if they like you they will provide you with stability and war support if they don't like you then you can expect all kinds of bad effects going forward so let's go bring home the exiled republicans with our leader finally back in charge we can invite our comrades back from the long exile that was forced onto them by the modern kiss regime we will need every bit of help if we are to get the country back together. So this will bring the change in democracy, communism, and Romania will cancel a guarantee of independence on us. And Romania, Yugoslavia, and Turkey will lose some opinion of us as well. But that is totally fine. Let's see, modifying the government. We can go here with weapons. And research speed, which I want to do pretty quickly. Political power gains some stability. Let's see, what else do we have around? We will need 250 for that guy. You know what? To begin with. I think I will take weapon and equipment research speed because I will be picking that up soon. And let's start paying some of the debt back and we'll start paying the British. Turkey remilitarizes the Turkish Straits and the remilitarization of Rhineland. Okay, so basically they will start moving some troops in. Electronics is done. Let's go for mechanical computing next. You can see that we're missing about 6,000 equipment. We will still be missing it. Like most of our people don't have enough weapons. Uh, I'm not gonna go compromise with the monarchies just yet. What I want to do is take one of these. So this is utilize our strength or force the farmers into factories. The idea is we are a agrarian society. 
Factory output is minus 30% and recruitable population factor is minus 45%, which is huge. And we can go either with utilize our strength gain, political power gain, recruitable population at 30%, consumer goods factory is at minus 5, stability plus 10 and factory output plus 30%. Or we can go with force the farmers into factories, getting more recruitable population and more factory output. But we'll lose some base stability. So I want to go with this first. We don't have a whole lot of fuel. But I would like us... Let's see. We do have a commander. Or an admiral. Media personality, so it's hard to reassign him. Okay. Bold, naval speed and damage. Caustic personality, number of ships on first contact minus 25% and screening effic efficiency plus 20%. Let's put him in charge. And what I want is some naval exercises to happen around here until we gain some good experience. So we'll start with the naval first. Oh, we have the possibility to upgrade the ship now. Um, early destroyer. What does it do? Well, we'll get some air, anti-air, some max speed, some mine laying, and a bit more fuel usage. Don't really have fuel right now, so let's just send them on these exercises. Like, I just want them to get out of the fresh. But you will see that our fuel will be dropping a lot as well. Ethiopia has been capitulated, okay. Crush the monarchies. No, we have no problem with the monarchies, to be honest. Well, let's see, basic machine tools. Okay, second London Navy Treaty. We might have a bit of a problem with bombarding our factory, so we'll go with the dispersed industry. I think I'll wait for 250 points to start getting some experience in our army. Let's take a look at our army, by the way. What is our template like? It's not a bad template. We have some support artil artillery, some engineer, and we have plenty of infantry. I would replace this with some artillery going forward, but we don't have enough production yet. On our mountaineer, I feel like we have a bit too many here. Too many people. Like, I would reduce these to, like, a 4 unit or something like that. You know what? Let's take this cavalry. And let's make it a normal unit. Okay, decisions. Let's continue paying our debt. The sooner we can get rid of that modifier, the better. At this point, we're missing some steel. Let's see. Let's go with the weapon. Manlicher. And for the missing steel, we should be trading. What are our resources like? Well... We're producing just about everything except for rubber and oil. We can get oil if we fight Romania or if we take over Iraq. Maybe Iran. Okay, well, let's trade with France for now. And get some steel. Utilize our strength, great. Then we go for lignite liquefaction to start producing some fuel. Like you can see, we're already at zero with fuel. Uh, let's see, navy. Are we trained? Uh, almost. Okay, these are trained for now. 
Let's send them back and leave the subs to still work. Yeah, bit of a problem with that. But what can we do? Okay, now we have this guy in with the Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. Spain is going into the Civil War. Uh, let's do this and start producing some support equipment instead. We're at 105 convoys. Mm, continue paying over here. Okay, so Lignite liquefaction is done, we are making some resource and at this point what we need to do is start going down this idea. Restoring our home will improve remove national spirit of Schacht plan and gain more bonuses relation to United Kingdom and France but lose the German rights relation because we gave up on the plan and Italy gains renegade on debt opinion of Greece minus 100 so we can make some bad relations there gain some war support and stability by going democratic that is pretty interesting but if once we go compromise with the monarchist monarchies become friendly but the communists become hostile and we have to go quickly through this because the communists won't really like, they will create problems. And if you ignore them, like any faction that is hostile, if you ignore it for long enough and you ignore their demands and stuff, they will go to war with you. Okay? We're making some fuel. Okay, so we're done researching this weapon. Let's get... Support level, weapon level 1. And you can see here, we're missing 5000 weapons. We're gonna miss the same amount of weapons, mostly. So that is fine to me. Let's see. 023, this is just a tiny bit early. Not too early. Well, I could go with this burst industry first. And then over here, I should start looking into the doctrines. The other thing is, like taking a look at the ships, like I have mostly no idea what's going on here. We will need to spend some time, maybe later in the game, trying to figure this out, putting some research in, making some good ships. A compromise with the monarchist is done. Let's go with remember the Anatolian catastrophe. Now if we take a look at here, uh, the communists provide us with minus 15 stability because they're hostile towards us. The monarchists provide us with plus 5 stability and some recruitable population. Okay, almost done with paying the, off the British, so we'll do that. We can go ahead and do some anti-communist raids. Effects when selected minus 10% but we get mm, to stability but we get weekly stability of 0 0.7 and you know what what is our ratio at pretty good ratio let's try to go do this just to push them down if, the less yeah, they can there. influence us the better I think I would need to assign one more unit over here 
in order to defend Athens. Remember the Anatolian catastrophe? Good. Let's go with venerate the ancients. The fascists are emerging now. Let's continue paying our debts towards the French, I think. Yeah, now we're losing even more stability. Yeah, let's continue pay paying the French. Support weapons is done. I could go either with radio at this point, let's see, radios, radios could be good, I think I'll field hospital for someone like us, where we don't really have a lot of people, could be better, don't have a lot of artillery, But even the little we have, we should put it to good use. Hmm. Some factory output and political power gain or ability, military factory construction speed, dockyard and fuel silo. I think I'm going to go with this guy, with the factory output first. Good. Let's go with Athenian thinkers next. This will be very quick. EEE -E -E, member plunder foreign owned factories and distribute the goods. Yeah, we won't give them power there. They'll create some problems for us. Okay, decisions, decisions. Rowan. This guy could be good to keep us strong but I think this is for later anarchist uprising in Spanish civil war really okay so we have a new faction in the Spanish civil war that is pretty bad let's go with construction let's go with the machine tools I think we were capped on production at this point no, almost capped. France and Britain announces alliance, good. Let's go with the Anatolian refugees. Gets even negotiations with EEE. Okay. Now the reason why I'm trying to hurry a bit through that tree is because I am afraid that Turkey might start joining the Axis. They're guaranteed by Romania. And on one side, Romania is pretty strong early on. But I'm not sure they'll be able to reach us. Because if we protect the sea, that will be fine. I'm not sure that Bulgaria will offer them a passage through because they're not really in great relations. So we'll have to see. Crush the fascists. We cannot do that yet. Let's see. Okay, so we have those. Doctrine is being researched. I could go with fleeting being. Or with some airplanes, some new models of airplanes. Though that would take some resources that we don't have right now. We can't get the research yet. I think I can go with construction, right? Or fuel gain from refineries plus 50%. I think I like that idea too. Let's see. Okay. You don't need exercises anymore. I will ask the Navy to do some though. Hindenburg disaster. The Chinese United for Front forms. Okay. US Congress passes Neutrality Act. Now let's continue paying the French. 
over on this side, getting some research speed from them. No, not really interested. Hmm. So me, ideology. We can get some extra stability and some extra. Maybe this construction would be good actually, or infantry division attack. something for the near future, right? Or early mo mobilization. Not war economy, it's not partial mobilization, but it's still something. Anything to make us more equipment would be good. Okay. We need fuel there. Anatolian refugees. Okay. Negotiations with the EEE. Either gain base war support plus 10%, gain national spirit coalition with the EEE, which grants 5 stability and daily fascism support. The fascists become friendly. Allying with the EEE will have serious repercussions when the Heraklion Convention is called. Heraklion Convention being uh, the convention where we negotiate... Um, basically taking back some of the territory from Turkey or we can gain base stability 10 change in popularity to fascism minus 7 and Aristotle Onassis will become uh, will be available as a minister and the fascists will remain hostile yeah let's not go with the fascists and let's go with resurrecting the Megali idea uh, let us okay so we can befriend the fascists and at the end we get some recruitable population factor 15% and stability plus 5. Uh, but we need to be democratic and have national spirit. Okay, no. And we cannot prevent the communist either. We cannot crush the communist either because we don't have any of those. But we can crush the fascists. When selected, we don't lose any base stability because, like in this situation, because there's not really fascists in our country, but we will gain base stability and war support once this is done. Why I'm going to throw this, let's get the fascists out of our uh, political world. Okay, the Heraklion Convention. So we can call the French and the British, or we can call in Italy as well. We we'll just bring the French and the British for now. I'm trying to make deals with them. Not so much. I'm thinking that once we create the Byzantine Empire, we might have to go to war against Rome as well. So, yeah, with that in mind. Let's see. This fleet. Yep, almost done to being experienced. The United Kingdom and France attend the Heraklion Convention. Together, our delegates will cut up spheres of influence in northern and southern Turkey before ultimately deciding whether we should be granted our rightful territories along the Aegean. History is about to be made and Greece will be at the very heart of it, surely. Um, I think I'll stop the exercises here. And hopefully we will get some fuel. These planes, they are rookies. So we need to to work. Okay, should the, so the French mandate in Kurdistan. Upon capitulation of Turkey, many attended French officials suggested such an arrangement is perfectly logical given France's proximity to the region. So they want to have a Kurdish puppet, which will be a pretty big territory around here. Now what I think I am going to do, and I'm not sure how this will turn out, but I'm not gonna vote A for France. If we do, the Heraklion Convention ultimately succeeds, then upon Turkey's capitulation, France shall establish a Kurdish puppet state in all Turkish head states that are coarse to Kurdistan. 
So if we give them that territory, I mean, I have no problem. Basically, that is the idea of this from what I saw uh, from this convention that we take some of our territory and maybe we'll be able, if we have enough war score, we'll be able to do um, more negotiations here. The UK will want some territory as well, and so will France. Now I'm not sure how this will go. I think I will try to vote nay in the case of France and just try... The thing is, if they do... If we do give them land, then they'll be forced to join the war. If not, then they are they have no obligation towards us. We'll have to see how that goes. On research here, let's go with... Construction level 2, sure. Japan declares war on China. Leadership purchase in, Soviet, in the Soviet Union. Yunnan joins the Chinese United Front, okay. Marco Polo Bridge incident happens. Okay. Okay, the French get their mandate even though we voted against them. I guess since they're allied with Britain, they do get their conditions. Uh, we were taking a look at planes. Our planes are rookies, so let's train them. And I want them to do day missions because we don't have a radar. And I want them to have normal operation. I want them to return and repair. So we do have some planes here, some fighters and some bombers. Ram battle plan has been researched. Let's go with prepared defense. Chansi joins the Chinese United Front, okay. The British would like a protectorate in Armenia. Okay, establish an Armenian puppet state in Trebson. That means around here, I don't really care about this territory. And the main reason, I will show you why I don't really care about those territories. I mean, I might live to regret it. Mm, let's see, shall we get field hospitals or signal company? I guess we can go with radio for now. If I take a look at resources, there's nothing here. The only thing I'm worried about is that the fact that I want to go to war uh, with Iraq or Iran or both later on and just for the oil. So it really depends. Uh, if we get Romania's territory, then I don't care about it anymore. Let's see. Let's continue paying our debts here. We're still crushing the, the fascists. We can go to parcel mobilization now if we wait. Okay, and the uh, Megali idea. The topic for this round of voting is whether or not the Megali idea, the long-held revanchist ideals of a greater Greece, should be permitted by the great powers present uh, Greek national uh, present. Oh, yeah. Greek national leader uh, Vene Venizelos made a surprising visit to the chamber where the Heraclean Convention was being held and made an impassioned speech about how the Megali ideas represented more than a cynical land grab and how this would be the revitalization of a shared hallowed dream maintained for centuries by Greeks all around the world. It is not in question should the Megali idea be rejected here and now then all the concession and promise made in Heraclean Convention will be voided. The very future of Greeks' democracy and integrity could be rest upon the decision. So, we vote A. Or I. Uh, yeah, I'll wait for partial mobilization. Let's see. Can we train you as well? We have like two more ships here. The Heraclean Convention ideas, the Megali idea is reborn. 
The majority of attendees delegates have voted that Greece should be permitted to realize the Megali idea should it be successfully best Turkey in a war. Our officials are ecstatic. And Eterios Venizelos has already addressed the nation to relay that the Heraklion Convention was a success. Of course, nobody outside of a close cir the circle of attendees really knows what the Heraklion Convention was truly about, but many of our people have inferred that the topic of conversation was chiefly over the realization of the Megali idea. We have come out of the Heraklion Convention with everything we have wanted, but next comes the hard part. Sure. Okay, let's stop them and dock them. Promise of peace. No, we're not going that way, unfortunately. So, at this point, we have no more fascists. Heraklion Convention convenes a great success. Good. The, so, the nationalists took over the anarchists, and it seems like they will win this time. How are we on equipment? Well, we're still missing like 3k units. Resurrecting the Megali idea, and now we can go this way. Horror and fear is mutually exclusive with this. But the Guardian Knot is part of Alexander the Great's legend. It has come to mean solving a seemingly impossible task through a bold stroke. Our impossible task is reclaiming our lost lands. Our bold strokes is having a, our powerful allies take it for us. <laughs> yep, that is exactly what it is. This will mean war with Turkey. I'll be waiting for this. And as soon as the war, like we'll keep the points and as soon as the war starts, we're going to war economy. I mean, at this point, we're almost ready to go to war, so that is cool. Let's see. How are our planes doing? Okay, they're trained now, so we need to stop. We can stop the exercise. We'll have them on interceptions, air superiority, and close air support. As soon as the war starts, we will slow things down. Italy announced claims on Yugoslavian territory. Let's start paying Italy as well. Okay, construction is done. Uh, this is just a little bit early, but we'll go with the research. Let's see, where is our research? Research. Okay, well, on one side is the die is cast. Cool. Then we have over here the Academy of Athens and what is this? Sophistry and science. Political power gain and research speed. Okay, so there's, that's where our research focus is. Oh, we're almost there. Now it's going to be a bit hard to to push. We will definitely need the help of the other powers. But that is the plan of how to do it. And hopefully we'll be succeeding. But you never know in these situations. Like you hope you're going to succeed, but Let's go with motorized. We need some help with that as well. We'll be needing some equipment. Okay. Yeah, we need plenty more upgrades. Let's slow down. War is on. France, France abandons their commitments. But the United Kingdom honors their commitment. Wow. I didn't ex 
expect France to go out, but hey, you know what? That is fine by me. Hmm. I think I want to go with extracting more from our soils right now. Let's e execute this plan, like try to start some engagements. Let's go to war economy. Nice. So, yeah, we have plenty of nations joining the war. Apparently France has joined now as ally. Yeah, as one of the French allies, let's see uh, the ships. I want them on patrol, except for this territory. So I want them to patrol these two territories here. Good. This area should be covered pretty well. Let's see, what is this? They invite us. into the faction but I don't want that yet I will accept military access and we will do the same uh, with them we will be asking for military access right because if they start capturing some of these territories here Then we will need to move through them. Let's see, a non-aggression pact. I do accept that. Missing equipment. Yeah, we're still missing like 2,000 guns. War propaganda against Turkey. Well, we could do that. Let's see, United Kingdom called Australia in the war, yeah? Let's see, what is this battle like? And they have some destroyers, they're retreating. Yeah, okay, so with, with this capital ship, it's actually pretty good. We're pushing them back. Hopefully this will give us some war score. Let's see, as for military, accept, as for military, accept. Look at all these factions joining in. Now, if we're lucky, we might even be able to get this region. So, yeah, looking forward to see what will happen once we're called like the Byzantine Empire. War propaganda. Do I want to go this way? Quickly wars. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Provides us with a bit of power and attack. And it's cheap. So I think I'm gonna be fine. Let's see. Can I move in here? Let's see, non-aggression pact with the UK, yeah, I do like that. Now you can see France is moving in as well, this will distract the Turks. Uh, you might not know this, but the Turks do have quite a bit of an army. Like if we take a look... Intel... Total army is 16 to 51 troops, like we are only at... 13 at this point. Non aggression pact, yes. Here we add a. Yeah. We're starting to, to dominate basically. I'll be start making missions over there. We require more fuel for that. Okay, let's uh, go back here. 
Let's stop them in. Yeah, look at this. So we're getting now reinforced. She should be really good. We're not making fighters apparently. To replace them down planes. Okay, they are being the ships are being repaired. Let's see, we have we've reached a hundred command points. So I would like to see if we can't throw in some trades. Mm, not on this guy. I mean, there's nothing that I want. That is basically what I'm saying. Unyielding defender, organization loss on moving and some attack. Sure, let's give them that. And let's go to the ships next. Can I throw a trait on you? Yes. Torpedo screening penetration or visibility damage and torpedo hit chance. Let's go with this. And hunter killer, submarine attack, submarine detection. Sure. A little something. Land lease for some equipment. Great, we will do that. Good, we've been making. Good, we've been making convoys. And we have no more supplies at this point, of fuel, which is pretty bad. Let's see, with you, let's go partially there, let's take these people and go further to Istanbul. Okay, let's advance in there. Let's try to advance here. Uh, no, apparently we cannot. Good. These people are almost cut off. Let's continue forward. Actually, no. Let's continue back here. With one of you. Okay, I think I need to slow it just a bit now. Let's see. Any invaders? No. Italy is here. France is not doing well on this side. Interesting. Interesting and worrying at the same time. Let's see if I can do something like this. Take the Anschluss of Austria has happened. India National Congress triumphs in provincial elections. Okay. Let's go over here. Uh, I think I'm gonna take these troops and probably bring them north. Yeah. I think people, I feel like people are doing fine right now. Let's see, you two start attacking him. Okay, so now we have a bit of a front here. We have the British coming in, which should work. Okay. Let's try to put some pressure here. Okay, we can apparently we're doing some good work there. Let's stop you. Reinforce. Okay. 
So far, so good. Let's see, what else do we have here? A uh, few non aggressions, some land lease for equipment. Good. Turkey is starting to go down. We have a pretty good war participation. Let's continue paying our debts. Go on manpower. I could go with extensive conscription at this point. We definitely need more troops. Actually, for right now, I think... Yeah, we need to start making... some concessions, right? Local autonomy... We can go with a civilian oversight, but we will need some equipment in order to make this happen. And we're not there yet. And I would like to make like a few more troops. And you will join this army as soon as you're done, but I'm not... I don't see it, at least for now. Okay, so far so good. Let's keep pushing. Let's try to keep pushing over here as well. Yeah, on this one we're not doing too well on their organization and supplies and replenishments. Let's see, what do we have here? Force attack, last stand, or planning. And we're pushing here. Let's do this. I'm a bit afraid of Germany coming into a war. Okay, France is pushing back again. Like if they start a war here, they will distract France. Or France might have already his troops spread all around here, thus taking them out of the war quite early. But I hope he kept some defenses at home, at home as well. Who knows? I guess we will have to see. Okay. We're almost done here. Good, and finally, I am going to be pushing with all of these troops. Uh, what is our... We don't have an offensive plan anymore? Let's do this. Oh, or maybe we need to finish this before the new line is being drawn. Okay, so we've advanced in here. Eighteen days worth of fuel, okay. In Romania we're not really fighting anymore, but I'm sure that they're bombarding the hell out of us. Romania does start with uh, a bit of an air force. We used to have one. Like a power... Uh, Decent one, not a powerful one, but a decent one. Especially because we did have the petroleum. Many factories which were bombarded during the Second World War, just so it doesn't fall into enemy hands. There is a bit of that. 
Okay, let's go this way. I want to take Vanessa. Okay, they cancelled the land list to us. Let's see, where are we at? Well, we're missing a lot of equipment. Well, weapons. France is now... Seems to have made... Most of the war goal. Even though we're doing some work ourselves. I feel underrepresented. But, eh, uh, details, details. Okay, they're starting to push back. They're bringing some units forward. Okay. Well, with you, let's take this, throw a line in here, and I would like you to start going like this. That is the, That will be the plan. Nope, assign you to here. Modify government decision, we have only 76 points, but apparently we can. Naval resource speed, max range, sub detection. Let's see, decisions available. Uh, nothing else I really want for now. more for on the soil is done we can start opening up our country let's see anything else I want from here daily command power gain multiplier not really using it we can go restoring our home or Theban Tebe warriors or we should start going this way Let's see. Open foreign factories, boom, we can get some research, we can start exporting some stuff, going into a free trade, expand our tobacco industry, increasing relations with a bunch of countries, Germany, US, France and UK, encourage tourism. Cooperate with foreign monopolies. Replace foreign monopolies. Let's see, what is the foreign monopolies one? Oh. Yeah. Okay, definitely going that way then. And we'll think about the rest in the future, but for now... We're going this path, on this path. And this is all the time that we have for today. So I hope you ho you have enjoyed the beginning of this campaign. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow as we continue taking over Turkey and form a greater Greece and hopefully pretty soon a Byzantine Empire. Now until then, I thank you very much for watching. I hope... Until then, thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.